This is Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at our 2023 399 LOFT Sierra Destination. That's a 399 loft. Um, this is a three side unit. It's a front living with a rear bedroom uh, with a loft. It's actually the, I said the cousin to that unit, which is the 401 FLX. I will make a video on that after this. Um, so this is a front living with a loft in the back. Um, two entries. Right under 41 feet, tip to tip, 40 foot 8 inches to be exact. And just under 11,000 pounds dry weight. Excuse the wind, I'm trying to get inside real quick to not have to bother y'all with that. There's the sticker there, 10,734 pounds dry weight, uh, 40 feet 8 inches. Uh, not that I think the weight's going to matter to most people because you're not going to be pulling this thing around. You're parking it um, semi-permanently or permanently. So um, up here at the front, we're going to start at the front, at the rear, at the front living, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, very similar to the 401 FLX. I'd have to sit down and think about all the exact differences, um, but you know, big windows at the front. I'm gonna zoom out real quick. Um, couch, theater seats, dining table over here. I mean, it's very, very well lit, very spacious. Of course, taller ceilings. I mean, we're, we're in a destination style trailer. Uh, people ask all the time, what's the difference since an apart model? Uh, this, this does have tanks on it, so it's not a case where it's just gonna be one where you're gonna um, have it hard plumbed in and never, you know, never move it as far as that's concerned. Uh, you could move it around. It does have waste tanks on it, but um, it's taller than an average travel trailer. So it's kind of in between a park model and a travel trailer. So uh, some specifics of it. Let's talk about that instead of just generals. <clears throat> uh, here is your first slide, the door side slide. Uh, notice a flush floor slide. Of course, it's a tall height slide, full depth, three foot slide. I've got theater seats here, table and chairs down there. Nice big windows in this slide. Um, on the windows, we do have roller shades. Pull those down, you can show it. Dark, blackout shades. Um, there's a lot of lighting in this unit. Uh, Sierra loves accent. You can see above, top there, there's accent lighting. There, uh, there's accent lighting. You'll see it at the kitchen island in a second, but accent lighting everywhere. No carpet, as you can see, um, woven. Kind of like, I call it like a boat, you know, vinyl flooring. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, theater, excuse me, trifold sofa at the front. Makes a nice big bed there if you need it on both ends. You have table. Um, you have outlets there. Again, windows galore. Um, lights, lights underneath this little um, cabinet area. There's lights in the front that are controlled by those switches. More storage there. Uh, two airs on this unit. One air here, one in the back. Both are ducted. Uh, nice ceiling fan here in the middle as well. Beautiful accent lights over our kitchen island. Right across from our theater seats, entertainment center. So TV that does pull out. You can change the angle if you want. Solid surface countertops even there at the TV, which is just a nice, more deluxe feature. Sound bar, fireplace. Um, all that is right there. Again, accent lighting, as you can see above the slide. In the kitchen area, we have home-style appliances. So I've got a big um, insignia stove and oven. You know, you can tell this is way bigger than the average RV, uh, much more home-style. Um, you got these big, big burners up here with, you know, a grate on the top of it. Uh, big LG microwave up here, much more like at home. Kitchen island, again, solid surface countertops. Um, sink covers that make it a flush area there. Pull out faucet if you need that. Storage below. Um, one small thing, they make it easy for winterizing if I can pull that back. There's your pump. They got a valve. Um, it's really, really simple to winterize these versus some that I deal with. That's an inline water filter they put in the unit. Um, drawers, all sorts of stuff there. Nice pantry here. Pull out, three pull out drawers and then two fixed shelves above. So I like these. And again, same thing here. It's just soft closed drawers. It's just, it's just a well, I look like an idiot on that one. It wasn't soft closed. There's some additional stuff there. There, there you go on that one. So isn't that funny? Make a video. Of course, the one thing you want to show it, it acts up. So I'll have to make a video, a note on that to get that fixed. LG fridge. This is a residential refrigerator. Um, probably I think 22 cubic feet if I remember. I don't think it's 24. I think it's 22 cubic feet. I usually look from the sticker, but I don't see the exact y'all may pause it and go to read it but i'm not going to waste your time um big fridge here you can see i mean literally it's a, it's residential um you may have heard earlier the ice maker was on um it's making some there you go it's winterized you got antifreeze ice um but ice maker built in double drawer freezer there um just a wall of storage here several things going on we have our breakers um and our fuses there on the end of that storage there just a nice little ledge here for maybe instant pot, air fryer, pressure cooker, crock pot, whatever. You can have that there. You got outlets on both ends as well. More storage above there. 
Um, in here is typically where we see, yeah, there is our water heater control. This is a tankless water heater. The controls for that are there. And then around the corner is our control panel, uh, monitor panel. Um, some of the lights are in here, awning porch lights, uh, the water pump, the awning switch, and then the slide switches are here as well. So kind of kind of command central here between water heater, control panel, a lot of things going on here with light switches, um, front air control, and then there's a max air fan here in the bat in the bedroom, in the bathroom. Oh my goodness, in the kitchen. I'm sorry. In the kitchen. It's on a remote, of course, because it's a very tall ceiling in here. It's not like a traditional travel trailer. So uh, that's a nice addition there. All right, going back toward the rear of the unit. Um, this sliding door here to the left, um, you can see it's got a little, little uh, slat style curtain if you want to close that off. I have it open, of course, to make it brighter in here, but you do have that. You got your ceiling fan controls here to the right. This is the master bath. Um, you've got a toilet, you've got a little nook there for bathroom supplies and such, towel rack. Of course, the advantage of this, if you're a tall person, um, these are really, really tall uh, ceilings in here. I didn't turn the light on. Really tall ceilings, so no worries about that. Glass shower doors, little seat in there, uh, shelving built into it as well. It's got a more deluxe shower um, than what we typically see in a travel trailer because you've got this shower head that goes up and down. I haven't cut the zip tie yet, but that slides up and down for adjustable height. Same with the soap tray. So just a more deluxe shower setup than typical. Um, really big medicine cabinet much bigger than normal notice the cabinets are hidden hinge which is just a nice feature um good good amount of countertop around the sink same thing max air fan in, in the bathroom that's controlled by remote because it's so high up and then good storage down there below the uh, bath sink all right go back out here's the lofted area okay so this is where this is really going to differ between this and the 401 flx which i'll make a video on next um we're going to our loft first. So you've got steps here up to the loft. And I'm just going to walk up them. I have the lights on up here. A little storage nook to the right. And then here's your lofted area. So you can see the bunk mat size is 44 by 74. There's two of those. So it gives you a scope, you know, an idea of the size of this area. It is a very, very big area. Um, there's storage. There's outlets up here, as you can see. There's a roof vent up here. There are AC drops. I always point that out in the loft because if there's no AC drops up here, it can, get, it can get hot. But there are AC drops in here, which are awesome. Four LED lights, a window even. Um, so it doesn't feel like at all like you're in a cave. I see some lofts where there's no roof vent, um, no window, and no AC drops. And it, it's, it can be pretty rough. So this is a really well done one. Great storage here. Maybe you want the kids to put, I don't know, clothing or whatever, toys and stuff up there. Um, if you don't want this to be for children, you've got a great storage area as well. So we have some customers that get lofts that have no plan to have anybody to sleep up here. They just use it as additional storage. So whatever. You've got different ways to use it. They did put a TV hookup up here if you chose to put one up here. Um, but anyway, got that. And it's, it's a good amount of... I'm trying to show you. wish I could show you with my height you've got here. Um, I don't know. Well, that window would probably give you a reference for how tall it is. My point is, it's not a really narrow loft. It's easy to, I could easily crawl up there and not be bumping my head. Sometimes some of these lofts can be um, pretty narrow, but not the case with that one. All right, our master bedroom. So we go down, there's a step down here, um, obviously to allow for extra height up top. Bed slide, uh, king bed. I always love the way Sierra does their headboard with the accent lighting, um, lighting ab above as well, storage massive window so if you're lucky to have like a lake view or whatever where you can back this up you have got an awesome window to take advantage of that wall of drawers here at the foot of the bed always note the space on the sides the foot of the bed a lot of our customers um, you know you ask about mobility issues it's hard to get in out of the bed or make it not the case here plenty of space usb ports and outlets on both sides of the bed um, and then going back this direction oh one thing i wanted to point out there are AC drops in here as well. So that's very important. You do not want to not have AC drops in the area below a lofted area. Both areas need AC drops to properly cool. This wall of storage here is your bedroom closet. TV box is still in here, so just ignore that. Um, but you've got washer dryer hookup if you wanted to do that. You know, if you don't, then use it as a standard closet. You got a closet rail already up here. Whatever, put shelving in it if you want. Both doors slide to open. Um, a lot of storage in here. Okay, I'm going to show you one more view up here because I think I was talking and didn't pause. 
one more view of the living room area. You can pause that and look at it. And we'll go back out. All right, on the exterior, um, you got a big grab handle here. It does have an electric awning on it. We did get that option. Uh, tent on the windows. These steps remove, but they literally just come off for travel. Um, if, you, if you don't, a lot of people don't even use them. They park them, have a deck or something, but they do come off if you need to do that. Outside TV hookup here. There's an outside LP hookup right there. Show you the sides of the unit with the slides. Sometimes people want to see that for uh, measuring and deck purposes and things of that nature. There's your tankless water heater. Your furnace is right there. Uh, termination point. I think there's only one on this unit I was looking at earlier uh, right there, which is convenient. Uh, outside shower, water control center. This is really convenient. City water connection, fresh water tank, which you probably won't use, but if you do, you got it. And a black tank flush all right here. TV hookups as well. 50 amp detachable power cord. Show you underneath. Underneath the unit, there's a fresh tank drain at the front. I love the front of these uh, with these big windows. They always look neat to me. Gives you a great view. So 2023 399 LOFT or Loft Sierra Destination Trailer. Uh, it's a three slide front living unit. Again, very similar to the 401 FLX, which I'll look at after this, uh, but it does have a loft at the back. Um, if you have any questions, click the link in the description that will take you to our website listing, or you can call or text 270-247-8187. Um, and anybody in my family will be happy to help you. Thank you very much. This is Arrowhead Camper Sales, and thanks for watching.